This is the Pico Pig Perfume Series Blind Box. It has six regular designs and two hidden designs to collect. The ratio of super hidden minifigures is 1 to 360, and the production ratio of the general hidden minifigure is 1 in 120. Every single blind box contains one minifigure and a corresponding ID card. It's noted that the artistic packaging is waiting for your opening. The precious figures are made by exquisite electroplating crafts. When unfolding the small box with interior design, which will be transformed into a display background board, it can be a romantic, but also an elegant gift. Hey everybody, it's me, Erica, and I'm here to unbox the Pico Pigs that I just introduced you to. They're still in their factory plastic, so if we do get a rare one, that would be fabulous. Pico Pig is by a company that I have not ever unboxed before. It's called Air Toys. Um, I've also seen the name, uh, I believe, there's another Chinese name associated with it. But Pico in Hawaiian means your belly button. It's like the source of all your power and your mana and magic. Pico is a name in Japanese. It's also a street name for a certain kind of illicit substance uh, in Eastern Europe. So I don't know which Pico they mean for this pig, but I couldn't find a Chinese translation. <gasps> concerns me that this is already cut when I just unplasticked it. If I cut that myself and I just didn't notice I, and literally have that poor of object permanence, I'll go back and look. So it looks like we have a super cute store display again. So we will be folding this to make it pop up like so. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second get it in there good and now we got to oh, I always managed to tear some part of it now we got to get the sides off here hopefully without destroying the entire box and box destroyer it's well known delicacy is not my strong suit my dad used to tell me I was subtle as a heart attack, <laughs> which is pretty accurate, to be honest. Uh, come on, buddy. I'm trying not to rip Pico Pig's hair bow. They do refer to Pico Pig as a girl in most of the, uh, in most of the writing about Pico Pig and the experiences of the pig. So I don't think I'm misgendering the pig and calling her a she. All right, well, that could have gone worse. So now we have our pigs ready to unbox in their sweet little box. So let me gently move this without shooting my rig off the table. So there they are, ready to unbox. Here we go. All right, so here's our six Pico pigs. You can hear them rattling in there, which is specifically a little bit why I wanted to order these is I have never ordered any of the ones that are just meant to be a shaker. I've always had the ones that are, they kind of shake and I didn't know they were going to, like Clark the Hamster. So these are the six that we'll be looking for. And I'll read you all the packaging information, uh, but it's a perfume inspired series of figures. More information, the all the stuff that lets you know that it's official and not bootleg. So let's see, do we have a rip tab? Oh, just a push, not a rip tab this time. Oh, goodness, that scared me. Okay. Oh, I hate, I hate box destruction. It makes me anxious. I'm supposed to just rip this? Oh my good lord. Pico Pig, no, I don't want to destroy every box that you're in. I'm cutting this the next time. That's too much. That's too much. Just wrecking the box. Okay. Let's see who we got. Na na! Oh my gosh, I think we actually got the one that's on the front of the box. So I hear her rattling. 
me scoot that a little bit. Oh, look at her! Okay, so there's a dry packet. Get rid of that. This is her special scent card, which I'm not going to open right now. I am not a huge fan of scents, and I will have an allergic reaction. And here is the pig. Ma'am. 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 Please come out. Ma'am. Ma'am. Oh my god. I don't want to break her. Pico pig. <gasps> Jesus. Sorry, Pico pig. Ooh, she's got such a good shake. Oh my god, she's so winky. Okay, so this is the atomizer, which is the pump. And oh, it goes in her back. Very square hole, as you can see. Or maybe you can't see. Come on, buddy. There, you can kind of see the square hole. And it fits in in only one way. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Look at her. Okay, I'm going to read you the stuff about her that it says in the book. So the Love at First Sight Pico Perfume Pig is described as... When I saw you at the first time, I fell in love with you. The perfume introduction is the sparkling love bottle body is matched with exquisite golden flower balls. The red crystal inlaid on the bow is shining brightly under the light. Well-dressed Pico only needs a wink, which can make you unable to move your eyes. The inspiration is noted as the pungent and mysterious aroma is so attractive. And it's noted that there is a red Swarovski crystal in this inlaid figure. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I just did. But look at the little beady beads that are molded in to make her look even more quilted. These are very, very well made. I'm very impressed by these. And I stand for 52 toys, so good job, Air Toys. And let's get another Pico out. We'll put this Pico right here here's the next one with the really upsetting packaging I just don't want to ruin your every package Pico I like to keep one box for myself okay let's see who we got I don't think we're probably gonna get any rares because they're so rare Na -na! I think I'm literally opening them almost exactly in order of the way that they that I recorded them, which is a little weird. Okay, so we got a much larger silica packet. Good lord. Okay, we have this special send pack. This is I the, believe the rose one. So there's a special scent pack, and you have a pig pico pig up close, and then a pico pig as a bottle. And we have the pico pig. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to exit. The plastic. Come on, my. Oh, God. I'm just so afraid of breaking this plastic. Okay. Let's get a look at her. Oh, my goodness. So, she doesn't have an atomizer. I guess this would be more of like a dabber perfume that you would take off and dab on your wrists, perhaps. But look at the detail. Okay, let me read you the ridiculous, the ridiculous packaging. I'm reading it exactly as is. I've not had a stroke when I read you this stuff. That's just the way they sound. For the Rose in May Pico Pig, it says, everyone knows that rose means I love you. The perfume introduction says, the roses in the grass only bloom in May, which makes them especially precious. Golden bottle and pink pearl are so romantic. The roses look like they would bloom beautifully forever. And the inspiration says, from the intensity of roses, there is also a feeling of shyness. Okay, so that's Pico Pig number two. Her beads are much more visible than Pico Pig number one. They're kind of invisible in there. And I think there's actually, I'm going to say there's less of them because they're invisible. I feel like this one has less. Definitely has less. I can sense it. My senses can sense it. Okay, beautiful Pico. Absolutely precious. Let's do another. I doubt we will get any rare ones, but it's always fun to dream. 
Oh my goodness, one of these days I'm going to hack a hand off. If I actually kept the blades sharp, it wouldn't be quite so dangerous. Okay, this one has a different closure on top. That's bizarre. Why would you change closure style mid-production? Weird. Okay, who do we have here? Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, I forgot. We have to take one of the boxes apart to make the beautiful display like the thing told us to. Okay, here's the scent card. Very cute. It looks like they're using the same flowers around it each time. And there's Pico again. But the bottle changes. So we've got that. And here's the pig with her big giant bows. Ma'am. Ma'am, you scare me. Please come out. Okay. Okay. Let's get a look at this pig. Oh, the little silver button with a pig face. Very cute. I think we've had that feature somewhere else, but this, I guess, also would be kind of a dabber type bottle, but it's on a little pedestal. So I will read you about this version of Pico Pig. The cream fairy Pico says, if you like cream, then you will be my friend that I want to drink afternoon tea together. The perfume introduction is, if you catch a sweet smell in the air, it must be greedy Pico, who is enjoying her afternoon tea. Her pearl bow ribbon on the chest is so suitable for this lovely princess. The inspiration is, just like the playfulness of a maiden, this product smelled soft, sweet, but not greasy. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but they are actually including pearls in all different uh, diameters, which is really nice because it makes a better and different sound when you shake it. And as a person who likes to stim by shaking things, this is a very satisfying shake. It's also got a great weight to it and it's like a lovely kind of egg shape. So this would be great to just fiddle with like maracas if you don't want your children to make noise or your spouse don't buy this because they will make a bunch of noise with it. Okay, so that was Pico Pig number three. And we will have to take apart one of the boxes so that we can see the, the fancy innards of their photo shoot booth or whatever, whatever it is that they are saying we can do with it. They said it's like a lovely display that is also maybe romantic, I think it said. It's a little bit crazy sounding, but that's okay. Maybe a little something lost in translation, perhaps, and that's just fine. See, this is different. This one has a different closure. It's like they switched closure styles mid-production, which I find very strange. Okay, this one seems to have a wand. Oh my goodness, who is this? Oh, wow. Yes, this is still one of the, the normals, so not a fancy one, even though it has a lot more accessories. Oh my gosh, it has a whole set of wings. Wow. Okay, silica packet out, normal Pico, matching Pico, and this is like a scented collector card, so you could hang it in your car, theoretically. Okay, we have some beautiful wings here. <gasps> They're sparkly. Oh my god. I don't know, you can see it, you can. Okay, you can see it in the camera, look. And it's not on the outside, it's embedded in the resin. There's just like the tiniest, tiniest bit. It's not at all overdone, it's just enough to tint the wings and make them iridescent. It kind of looks like they're just dusty, but it's very sparkly in person and very rainbowy. Okay, so there's your wings, Pika Pig. Oh my gosh, I gotta lot, not lose this tiny little wand. Oh lord. Oh, my meat hands. Okay, 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 gentle, gentle. I got it. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Come on, Pico. Girl, you better move. Oh, Pico. I'm so afraid of tearing off when I... Oh, good, your arm. Pico, I'm sorry. She's like, help. Okay, here's Pico. Oh my god little hand. Okay, I think it just stick the wand in there. Oh, no, it's notched. Even better. Look at how clever. Follow the notches in this type of toy. It's not always easy to get in there because it's painted, so there's some 
squishing that needs to be done. Very nice. That looks very flush. Oh, oh look at her little hoof. Look at her little cloven hoof. And it has like a triple lock for the wings, as you can see here. And I'm trying to do it through the camera and not through the camera so you can see. Oh, it's up. <laughs> what am I thinking? Why would it go like a normal wing? It's a pig with wings. Okay. Ugh. Oh god, I'm just so afraid of breaking things, honestly. I'm a bit of a clunker. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Oh my goodness, look at how cute she is. All right, let's talk about this Pico Pig. The Twilight Shadows Pico Pig says, if you miss the sun, then just be a person who can appreciate the twilight. The introduction says, after sunset, the sky was covered with crimson and purple sunset. The light hit the little angel Pico's wings, which was reflecting some sparkling pearls. With the magic wand in her hand, she is spreading romance today. The inspiration says, Twilight is so quiet that it is suitable for appreciating on one's own. Y'all, I don't know if you saw this, but look, there's little clouds in there that are stuck in place. You can swish them out of the way and see the little magical clouds. There's even a third one in the back here. Man, no detail left unfinished. Really good toys. All right, let's do another Pico Pig. We're coming into the home stretch here. And we will cut open a bottle, or a box. I promise I won't forget. We will not be cutting open a bottle to Pico Pig. We do not do violence on this channel. Not to Pico Pigs, anyway. All right, let's see who is in here. <gasps> it's the blue one. I was very excited about this one because it's like the least girly girly color, I would say. Not that girly girly colors are bad. They're just not mandatory. Okay, so here's his special card. Her special card. Misgendered the pig already. All right, and this one's just a single piece. Ooh, this one has a good sound already, I can tell. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to exit the building. She's like a Tiffany blue. It's so pretty. Look at this Tiffany blue little lady. Oh, the poor camera is having str is struggle busing now that there's so much stuff behind her. Oh, come on, you could do it. This is what you're focusing on. You could do it, buddy. Okay, let's learn about this Pico Pig. For the Blue Robin Pico Pig, it's described as, In Robin's sound music, happiness is coming. The perfume introduction says, Robin flutters its pure wings. If you are lucky enough to find its footprints, you can also encounter Robin's egg blue, which is so dreamy. Since then, no matter how time changes, your life will be quiet and happy. And the inspiration says, Robin's freshness and brightness can be transformed into a compatible beauty. I will say that this is the first Pico Pig we've had any damage on. And there is a little damage right there from her being shoved unceremoniously into her package. But I will say that the color is beautiful. They did the same iridescence that they put in the wings is in the cap for the perfume bottle. And it again has the different diameters of pearls and a really good shake sound. Again, a very satisfying hand size. I don't have small hands, but I, they're certainly clunky for their size from hard work. So my hands aren't giant, but these are a great size for shaking. All right, let's do our last Pico Pig, and then we will also make a box into a photo shoot area for one. Last Pico Pig. Okay, little buddy. Probably not a special, but one can hope. One can dream. And I think it's the assigned Pico Pig, but that's okay, because I was excited for this one as well. Oh yes, the little galaxy Pico Pig. Oh, he's so cute. She's so cute. Goodness sakes alive. Okay, so look a packet out. Here is the fun, smelly thing. Very cute. Here's our Pico Pig with a, a cross. 
Perhaps it's religious perfume. Ah! Oh my god, that scared the bejesus out of me. Sorry, Coco. Okay, so this is the only one that we haven't seen the beads on. They're, they're not to be seen. So let's learn about this Pico Pig. The Bright Galaxy Pico Pig is described as the numerous stars in the sky are where all my wishes I made at night. Uh, the perfume introduction says Pico was once a romantic child of the Milky River and she was roaming in outer space, but she is willing to fall into the galaxy to pick up the stars for you. May the light of the stars illuminate your path and may you hope and tenderness. The inspiration says it smelled fresh and bright. May the stars illuminate your path. Seeing as this is the only one that you can't see the bottom on, it's still very, very cute. I like that he's winky. This is actually fairly loose, but that's okay. I don't think it's going anywhere. It's just movable. The cloud pattern is very cute. It's super, super smooth and shiny. I do miss seeing the little bits, but it has a good, satisfying shake. I will say that. All right, and now I guess it is our time to try to make the little photo shoot box that they were so proud to advertise. Okay, they've offered me absolutely no instructions, but you can see that this is very cute inside, whatever we're supposed to do with it, but there is no explanation as to what part of this I'm supposed to tear to smithereens, but I would assume at the seam... Oh dear. Oh, it's going to rip the whole thing. Uh, let's see if I can manage this. I don't... I think I should have just cut it. Plan B. Cut it. I could always tape that. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. So now we can kind of see in there. And I guess I just... I mean, well, what part do I want to lose? Do I want to lose the part with the Pico Pig or this part? What... Or do I lose two parts? Because if you if you put it this way, you have the, the most room to photograph, but if you put it this way, I guess she wouldn't want a picture of herself, I think. Well, well, I think I've done it wrong. I think I probably wasn't supposed to cut off the Pico Pig part, but here we are. So Pico Pig doesn't want to look at herself while she's in the photo booth. She thinks it's weird. Holds her to an unfair standard. Oh yeah, see? It was supposed to be the Pico Pig side. Because look, here's the pretty bottom that you can fold up. That makes sense. Okay, so did it wrong. Box number two. Try that again. <laughs> okay, so we're not supposed to cut off that Pico Pig. We want to cut off this front, I think. I could have looked at the picture, but why bother? Okay, cutting off the front, one, two, okay, and then I, I presume we take these like this and put them under, maybe? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We're figuring it out, folks. We're figuring it out. Okay, so what I did... If you couldn't see it because I wasn't paying attention so it's opening up like this so I put this inside of the two folding them together nope trying to do it through the camera so you can see it okay and that gives us a base such as this thusly we would of course like cut these off to make them look nicer but there's like the Pico Pig photo studio. Excuse me, Pico Pig, you're going to have to move. We need to see your photo studio. Okay, so here's like the Pico Pig photo studio that comes, that they advertise delightedly online as being like a major perk, is that you get this little like Pico Pig photo booth. And it is cute. I don't, I don't know that it was worth what it cost them in packaging to do that. Because I know it wasn't cheap. Packaging is not cheap to print. The Pico Pig does, in fact, look very cute in there. I'm not going to deny that Pico Pig is a precious angel. 
Anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite Pico Pig was out of the entire group. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have a chance, please check out my Patreon uh, or any of my other social media links that are in the comments and information box down below. And I'll see you soon because I have lots of boxes from Christmas to unbox. Thanks for coming. Bye!